Hi my loves, I hope you guys are all doing very well. I feel like I missed you guys, is that weird? Um, no. So, I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. So pretty much I get asked a lot of questions, you know, whether it's about health, style, university, etc, etc. And one of the main questions, one of the top five, I guess, main questions that I get asked is what I use for my skin or you know why my skin is clear or supposedly looks clear as I said on camera first of all I don't I think with a lot of youtubers it's the lighting you know plays a big part and obviously we all have normal skin and I know it sounds so cliche maybe it's just me maybe I'm weird but I do break out when I eat chocolate or when I have too much sugar or too much salt um I that does tend to make me break out to say that I'm actually a big fan of proactive a, a tad too much if you ask me but yeah just a bit of a fan and I don't know why I go through them so quickly so the thing with me is you know growing up you know how you hear stories about people having acne and you know they suffered from it for a few years I never had acne growing up or even like the first few years of my uni, uni life I never suffered from severe acne or anything like that I mean I had pimples here and there but it was nothing too serious I would say last year I, do, I have no idea why like I actually wish I knew why suddenly I had this not it wasn't like a pimple because obviously I know how to differentiate between a pimple and I guess something that's worse and it reminded me of a cyst not that I had ever had a cyst before skin wise but it was deeper than a pimple I feel like with me when I get pimples pimples remain on the surface of the skin of course there's bacteria under the skin but it's majority on the surface of your skin it doesn't go kind of deeper to um to a greater extent Usually when I get pimples it's not I mean I don't really get pain from it sometimes they may hurt here and there but it's not like my face feels kind of numb with pain I don't know so um, that was the first time I experienced that and it would go and come back. I remember it would disappear and then a few days later, I feel, I feel like food triggers, it, you know, whatever it may be, um, can trigger acne. So I started having a mild case of acne uh, a year ago now. This is my last proactive review, which I'll link that below. I've always been a big fan of proactive. For some reason, I stopped using it a few months after that video just to try out other products because, you know, they obviously say it's not good to be on one product for a long time. And let me tell you, my face did not like trying other products. Like, honestly my face would break out it was it was more in pain not that it would break out it was just in pain when i started using proactive actually the first few days i woke up my skin was you know honestly amazing i never had clear skin like that before um but a few days passed and i started swelling and bubbles literally formed on my face and it was not a pretty sight let me tell you that much i couldn't leave the house i couldn't even cover it because it was in so much pain i literally could not cover my face up but um that's when I realized that obviously it's different for everyone but with me if I use proactive a bit too much whether it's you know every day or the lotions a bit too much I get a reaction from it but what I learned from it was you know just doing research online is that obviously it's different for everyone I can't speak on everyone's behalf if I use a tiny bit daily and whether if my skin starts to react I use it you know just the morning or just at night then I'm okay with that once I made those changes that made it obvious that you know just because my skin is sensitive doesn't mean I don't have to not use proactive, I just have to use it in a different way. But, um, you know, this definitely helped me. I work out, you know, usually middle of the day and this is when I use that. But having said that, you know, when whether it's morning or at night, I'm clearly a bit of a hoarder when it comes to proactive bottles. Yeah, I have my tr normal size and then I have my travel size. I don't know why I have three of the same um, bottle. That's just weird, I don't know. This is what I use normally, um, the step one, two and three every morning and every night. And then I have my travel size. How cute are these? It's a tiny baby. <laughs> so this is what I use when I go traveling. Clear skin. What I need to do is I drink a lot of water. I drink a, a liter of water a day. I try to drink more, but definitely a liter minimum. And um, my food is pretty clean. I try to eat clean. Of course, I'm going to have those cravings. But, you know, if I'm craving sugar, I have honey. If I'm craving salt, I guess, where does it sound? Salt with um, cucumber or you know broccoli or something like that you know I definitely try and eat as healthy as I can and that definitely plays such a big part of it and also what I realized is when I exercise like once you sweat you know all that bacteria comes out um, I feel like my skin clears so much and it shows like if I've exercised or if I've gone to dance the day after I feel like my skin is a bit more better and I feel like that's why my skin has cleared up a lot because of proactive having said that I do moisturize a lot because especially in the winter time my skin does tend to flake if I use proactive so I, I definitely do moisturize this is my solution I always get asked you know what do you do you know to get clear skin and honestly I always have the same answer which is proactive I know it sounds so weird but it really is um and yeah so let me know in the comments below if you've tried it I definitely want to share this with you guys and I know I, I have a video like this already but I kind of wanted to update you guys on it 
because uh, it has helped me a lot. My collection of proactive people, I have shoe collections, perfume collections. This is my proactive collection. But um, yeah, I'll put all the links below if you guys are interested. And um, you know what, Australia Sugar, just FYI to if anyone's watching that can help out. Um, while I was traveling overseas, they have vendors that are proactive, and I'm just saying. Maybe people should look into having vendors, like just vending machines with Proactive. Good idea, right? I mean, I know they have a Havana vending machine, like Havana thongs, like shoes. Isn't that weird? But I think we need a Proactive one, just saying FYI. Just putting that on the table. But um, but yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your skin routine is. Obviously, having said this, drink a lot of water, um, eat healthy, you know, just eat clean. Like, of course, you can... You know, have a burger once in a while, or I guess, you know, chips. I love chips. Like salt and vinegar, yum. Um, obviously not always. For my skin anyway, I can't always eat something like that because I'll break out like this. So let me know what your tips are because I would love to hear them. And also give it a thumbs up if this video has helped you. And comment below your thoughts on skincare and what your favorite, I guess, go-to product is to use on your face daily or nightly. Oh, by the way, I quickly wanted to add, I've been obsessed with this dress. I've been obsessed with this dress. It has a beautiful design. This is from Aliana. I'll put their link below. I'll be styling this in a video very soon because I feel like, um, I don't know, it's a very nice, I guess, I love the color. It's very pastel, but bold at the same time. And I feel like it'll go well in a style video. It's a bit embarrassing, actually. Like, I don't think anyone has a proactive collection the way I do. Is this weird? You guys, is this weird? Comment below if you think I'm weird. I mean, I won't get offended. I mean, maybe I will just tap it. I mean, not really. Just comment below. Let me know if this is weird. Or if you have a collection to become BFFs. But yeah, as I said, I'll link their information and their website below. And yes, and also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you just a tiny bit. I definitely hope, you know, it helped a tiny bit if anything. Thumbs it up if it did help you. Love and I do tune in one of you guys.